So when it comes to vocal music, we offer our men's choir, which is bass clef choir, and we have a treble clef choir, which is also known as our women's choir, and then we have an auditioned ensemble uh, of both voice parts, uh, girls and guys. And then I also work with Drama One, and I co-teach that with Coot in the auditorium. That class focuses on a lot of fundamentals and history of Drama One, and then Drama Two focuses a lot more on the actor and tech. So I guess I would say uh, anytime I talk to someone and they and I say, hey, you should join choir, and the number one response I get is, I don't sing. Which is funny because that's why I teach choir. I teach people how to sing, right? Um, you didn't know how to math, so you go to math class and now you know how to math. And it's the exact same thing with singing. It's a learned skill. Um, it's a whole body experience and any, any and all people are welcome, regardless of ability level. Uh, so there's a lot of different careers that you can actually go into. Um, traditionally, you can obviously go into teaching music, whether that's at an elementary, middle school, high school, or even collegiate level. Um, there's, you, there's a whole bunch of different professors. You can study music history, ethnomusicology, and then of course you get into a little bit more of the contemporary things uh, where you kind of get into music production. Um, we have many, many singers who are aspiring to go and sing on Broadway. And there's just, there's really no limit uh, with what you can do. And the really cool thing about music is that you will learn the skills to be successful. So even if you decide to not sing for 30 years and then randomly one day you decide you want to join the local community choir, then great, you have the skills to be able to do that successfully.